Hey guys, and welcome to the Tabletop Alliance. Hello everybody. Today we are doing another version of the Battle in Balance 2. Yes. If you didn't see last week, we did, uh, I think the box is down there. It is. We did play the new Games Workshop, I guess you could call it board game, which is sort of <laughs> an entry point to Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game. It was yep. really good fun. Not a lot of replayability, but you can go and check out our full review if you're interested in that. We thought we would take the same scenario and do it within this rule set that we all love. Yes, so uh, a lot of the models we're using are exactly the same, because, you know, they're the same models. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, this time we're kind of having to adapt the uh, scenario that is set out in the quest of the Ring Bearer book. Though. Yep. Because if you actually look at the book, the battlefield you should have should be, as they give it, a two foot by two foot square for Barlin's tomb. However, we have, from the awesome guys at Firestorm Games, have been lent this amazing Barlin's tomb set, and it'd be a shame not to use it, really. Yeah, I almost feel like this is more accurate and to scale yeah. anyway, so, yeah. and it just looks amazing, and we've even got these like pillars for outside. Yes. So we couldn't not use this. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've adapted a few things, a few rules to match this board instead. Yes. Now, the objectives of the game, for me, I only have to survive 10 turns. Mm -hmm. Problem is, on turn four, the cave troll arrives. They have a cave troll. Yes. Um, all James has to do as the evil goblin player is A, either defeat five or more, well, I guess five models, yeah. uh, or kill Frodo. So if Frodo dies, I automatically lose. So yes. defending Frodo is of a, a great priority for me. Yes, that uh, feels like, um, I wouldn't say an easy way to win, but it seems very doable to yeah, kill Frodo. It, but then it is only 10 turns and I've got to get to him. It, yeah. There is also only one entry point for James's army. However, any models that I kill mm -hmm. will kind of come to the side and on the next turn they have spawn points. Yes. Now in the Quest of the Ring Bearer, Be Quest of the Ring Bearer book, they say that two come from the well and one from each trapdoor here and here. Yes. Now in the movie, we don't see any goblins come out of trapdoors. No. And on our board, we don't have any trapdoors. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna stick with the two from the well. We're also gonna add one out here from the back. Yes. Given that it's also a much smaller board, we don't want to, it'll just get ridiculous if it's just yeah. four entry points or whatever, and it's just swarm of goblins. So we're trying to make it as fair as possible, and I think yep. that's the best way. I agree. And yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Yep. Um, obviously my objective is just to kill, his objective is to survive. Um, and yeah. Oh, and yeah, do we say about which turn the cave troll comes in on? Yeah, turn four. Yeah. Turn four, okay. I think we're good then. That's it. I believe we still roll for priority on this. I'm not sure it's just... Yeah, there's nothing good. specified about a certain team going first. So, yeah, the only fair way, I guess, is to do, yeah. a, do a roll. Normally, the good guys go first, but we'll, we'll roll. We'll roll. I mean, you're being ambushed. So. I got a five. It's true, it's true. You got I got a one. one. Okay, I'm going first oh, anyway. it started already. Thing is, can I even see anyone? Well, yeah. not yet, because <laughs> they haven't actually appeared yet, I guess. You're, no. just, you're barring the gates at this point. Yeah. Um, I feel like I may as well move... Dimly down, he's not a lot of use to me up here. Dimly's Should we, gonna... We're using our D20 to keep track of our turns. So I'm just gonna place this in here. Just so it it's gonna constantly get knocked over. It will probably get knocked over. That may change. I might just change it with a graphic in the edit. We don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the the hobbits are probably gonna kind of just protect Frodo back here. They're the easy targets, so I don't want them to just get taken out and reduce yeah. my numbers from the very start. Gandalf is going to stay there, and he's going to use blinding light. Um, I'm going to channel it, okay. so I'll lose a point of might. Um, and by doing this, what that means is any shooting attacks based at Gandalf or anybody within six inches of him, if James wants to shoot at him, he needs to roll a six to hit. So goblins are fives anyway, so I'm making it very, very difficult. Yep. Um, and by channeling it, it means it's in effect until Gandalf runs out of will. So it's, uh, I believe, two plus. Oh, that's, oh. that's fortunate. Okay, so blinding light is now in effect. Um, okay. That's my moving done. Okay, um, and just to confirm, it's not like it takes a will every turn or anything like that, it just no, no. keeps going because you use the point of mic. Yep. yep, cool. Okay, so my turn. I have so many options that I could be doing right now. I'm just gonna charge. <laughs> and there's nothing that says in the rules about which models have to come first or anything like that. So taking that down to my choice. So obviously I've got two captains, they're gonna have to go first. So they can all move five. If we're going from the entrance, from five, I can basically just come to the edge of this wall. So I've got two captains who are gonna lead the way. I assume they can all move from 
that spawn point and not like say for example all the ones back here or um well your deployment zone is actually six inches from, from the within the tomb yeah oh, oh well. so i could actually have started already inside the gate yeah oh, in which case let me just fast forward this and we'll just check a couple in there okay so we'll go again and uh now that I've actually done my deployment zone right, which we've just done up to the entrance, I will go, I can go within five inches of this, which is basically any of your front line of heroes, which I feel like is almost suicide to actually do anything with. But what else can I do? So Captain One is going to come around to Legolas. This is so annoying because I thought you were starting back there. I didn't move <laughs> for this reason. <laughs> I was going to shoot, not knowing. I just assumed that you I were know. out of... You've hey. messed up from turn one already and given me a massive disadvantage. Yeah, but which isn't bad because you gave yourself it because I wouldn't have realised. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just attack Legolas. Um... Okay, so there's not going to be any shooting this turn, I believe. <sighs> mm, mm, no. Uh, no. No. So we go straight into battles on turn one. Can't believe I've been screwed already. How has this happened? Like I said, self-inflicted. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> All right, we'll see. Uh, okay, Legolas then. Apologies if we had to cut there. We just had uh, some visitors turn up. To... Yes. Yeah. Anyway, on to combat. Uh, Legolas versus a captain and three goblins. Two yes. being spears. So, okay. So you you got a higher fight value, so you may as well begin. I got a six. Six. This is my only hope. Uh, in surviving I was, this. I, I was kind of hoping I could kill someone quick yeah. to create a bit more space. I was hoping you weren't gonna. That's two fours. I have defense of fives. I am strength four, so that is fives. So, oh, so you know, Captain, two wounds, one fate. Oh boy. Um, so you could, I'm assuming as well, I can't bring the captains back at the beginning of each turn. No, I assume Because not. I assume that's very unfair. Yeah, that's so, very unfair. Yeah, I um, can't say. If the captain's dead, the captain's dead. Yeah, kind of thing. no, I'm going to leave it at that so these guys can just back up. I'm not going to use any might to kill anyone. So what are you doing? Well, they lost the fight, so they back up, Pinch. Oh, I think you rolled enough to do some damage. No, I rolled four, so I need uh, to use might. Wow, okay. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> good start, good start. On to Aragorn. Yep. So that's Aragorn versus... Is that a captain? Yes, yeah, so that's my other captain with one spear. Okay, three attacks. He doesn't get a six. Okay, so the captain gets two. And the spear guy. Um, what's your might with Aragorn again? Just three. Plus a free one. Plus a free one. Ah, oh, there's literally no point then. Okay, I lose. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> well, combat did not go so good for me. So that's the end of turn one, I believe. Yes, okay. priority. Turn two. It's a three for me. Another one. Okay. Now. Hmm. Ah, balls. Um. <laughs> I, I kind of yeah. want to get Gandalf into Maybe play. Back to Wayne Inch as yeah. well, just to. I want to get Gandalf into play, but he's. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're at the point of do you risk leaving the hobbits defenseless? Well, at the moment you don't have any reinforcements, so no, like, you can't. But they will appear. Give me, give me a ruler. Give me a ruler. Let's see. I can make it to there. Okay, Gandalf's going to move up to here. And I'm going to use a Sorcerer's Blast. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> now, again, I'd like to give you guys the full descriptions of the power so you know exactly what's going on. So Sorcerer's Blast. This power targets one enemy model within range. The target is blasted D6 directly away from the caster and not prone. If that target comes into contact with another model, that is strength five or less, it will immediately stop and both models will be knocked prone. If the target or one of the models that is knocked prone is engaged in combat, then all models, friend and foe in the same fight are also knocked prone. The target model suffers one strength five hit and any other model not prone suffers a strength three hit. Additionally, if the target comes into contact with a piece of terrain such as uh, blah, 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 uh, they suffer a strength, sorry, if they're strength six or higher, then it will immediately stop and be knocked prone. However, strength six models will not uh, yeah. Okay. That's pretty much it. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that last bit is not relevant until the troll would appear. No. And if it's channeled, it's a strength six hit, and every other model is strength four. So basically, this turns into like bowling of just you just yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, so Gandalf is a wizard, so he gets one free will a turn. And then this is a five plus to cast. So. Um, 
I'll use his free one and one point of will. It is successful, my friend. So that's d6 away. You oh, ready? it's not on my captain. I could have even tried You ready? To you ready? No. It's six inches. Hmm. So I guess, but it stops when it hits a model, right? So it's just the two of them? Um. Because they're... It stops when it hits the first model, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's captain, though. So they're both knocked. Prone? Yes. The target model suffers a strength five hit, and uh, the so captain a strength three hit. Defense five with the shield, so you need fours for the first one. It's a one. Nope. And the captain seeing defense five. Ah, nope. uh, Gandalf. Okay, so they don't. But they are die. now not prone, which means <laughs> automatically surrounded when in battle. Yes. So Boromir is coming into this guy. Gimli onto this prone dude. Aragorn onto the prone captain, and Legolas is going to come around here to mm. that captain. I almost need people to die so I can get them in at the yeah. end. Yeah. Having them survive. Sacrifice the gobbos. Yeah, if you could just not kill anyone and keep them there for 10 turns, then that's a win for you. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I need to die. So what, what's the option for you just like going, you know what? <laughs> Let's go the old samurai way. Um, okay, is that you done? Anything else? Um, Want to no, charge with some hobbits? I don't. I'm just going to leave them there. <laughs> okay. So, my movement. This may take a minute, so this will be fast forwarded. Okay. This is becoming quite the, uh, yeah, well, quite the, uh, I, I don't know what the word is, outnumbered. Uh, this is a big swarm of goblins. It's, it's scary. Yeah. It's terrifying. I have basically five heroes to defend the, the room yes. and the hobbits. But sadly, so. you have five very good heroes. That is true. But Legolas, from past experience, tends to die quite easily yeah. whenever I'm using him. Uh, I did mean to move him up to that one. He's yeah, no worries. Down, but no the worries. swords and stuff. That's fine. I'm, he's, he's not in battle, just to confirm with Algon. Okay. Frondu's just going to die. <laughs> <laughs> OK. OK, so your priority, you choose where we start. Uh, we'll start with Boromir. OK, so that was just, I think I put one spear in there. Yeah, there's one. No, two spears. Oh yeah, I put two spears in behind. Okay, so I've got three, but no captains or anything. There it's you a go, six, six anyway, Boromir. so it didn't matter. I mean, there was only no spears in there, so you can only kill one. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I can only, the spears are not in base base contact, so I can no. only kill the shield. <laughs> um, defense five with the shield. So no, strength four. Ooh, damn, I need them to die. Okay, you may as well go I suppose that's fine, yeah. Gimli. Um, oh, I can chain, I can go two-handed or... That's just a normal goblin. Um, so I get three attacks if I use two axes, right? Yeah, three attacks or you go for a dual wielding with two, which is the minus one then plus one. I'll go three attacks. Okay. That's three fours. Hey, he survived! <laughs> Wait, no, I don't want him to survive. <laughs> uh, for God's sake. Okay. Aragorn. Six. Oh, this guy's dead. He's, I think he's my captain. Yeah, that's one way. Oh, he's a captain. Wait, he's counting let, me just, wait, let me just check. Yeah, that is my captain. He's counting the surroundings, so I get double attacks. That's, so that's three. three wounds. So you got two wounds, one fate, he's dead. Oh, and I can't even. And bring... he's, not, he's not reinforced. I can't bring him back either. <laughs> Best case scenario so far. Finally, we have Legolas versus another captain, Annie Spearman. It's a five for Legolas. Okay, captain two, and Spear Dude. Is that a six? Yeah. Yeah, it is a six. Um, Legolas will use a point of might. Okay. So that takes Legolas down to two points of might. <sighs> and it. to wound. That's two sixes. So that's going to be on the captain. I've got yep. one fate to see if he can survive. Oh. Which he just, just does. To be fair, um, for how I've got to take this, this strategy into this game of kind of holding that line, Helping my hobbits survive and survive in 10 turns. Just wounding captains is going pretty good. Yeah, because they don't come back. Very frustrating right now. Yes. Okay, so that is turn two done. We're so on to turn three, which means next turn, the cave troll appears. But at the moment, he can't get through. <laughs> there is the rule about when he appears, I can basically just walk over all the goblins. I'm, I do damage to them, but I can basically just go, you know what? Out my way. Out my way. Great. Priority. So three, six. six. Mm. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to have to use all of the move to get him to stand up, yeah? Yep. Um, okay. Actually, that's, this is going to be a fast forward moment again. 
So uh, I have Gimli free and Gandalf free? Yeah, Gimli and Gandalf are free. Those two are on Aragorn. That guy's free because he only just got a Legolas is surrounded. And then there's two spears on Boromir. Okay. Um, so this guy's on no one? No, he's the one who stood up, so I couldn't move him. Okay. Um, oh, man. Gimli's just going to take on him. Okay. <laughs> Gandalf may as well get involved and just come and help. Can you fit? Yeah. Yeah, you can get through there. So that taking that off, is that two one on ones? Uh, yeah, we'll do two on one on ones. Why not? Okay. Um, Again, no no shooting. I've moved all my archers full distances. So. Yeah, no shooting. Okay. It's so rare we have a battle with no shooting. I know. Annoyingly, because I got loads of archers just stood there going. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Okay, um, into combat. Yeah, okay, let's, let's start down here then. Let's go Boromir on the two spearmen. Spearman. Yep. Yeah, that's you. That's me. Come on, Boromir. Kill the spearman. Yep. Oh no! One. Yeah. You can have you can have reinforcements, yeah. finally. Okay, I'm gonna put this guy by here. I don't know if that can be even be seen anywhere, but. Gimli. Oh. <laughs> uh my dude. Cool. Gimli wins again. I'm doing pretty good on my roll to win. And he's dead. Do I want this to happen? I'm not sure. Okay, that's two reinforcements. I can have three a turn, so one more dies. I'm kind of at a good point. Yeah, Aragorn. Oh. Uh, spear dude. Oh. Hey! Oh, wow. You gonna do anything? Nope. <laughs> Come on, spear dude! Hey. Oh. <laughs> and Gandalf. Gandalf only gets one attack, sadly. Okay. Oh. 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 It's okay. It's okay. And Legolas. I'm not liking Legolas's chances here. Uh, it's the higher bite value that kills me now. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so I'll go my captain first. Ah. Six. I will use Legolas's last two points of might here. <sighs> Just because... Oh, wait, I had you surrounded. Ah, uh, still wouldn't be enough. I get plus one to my fight value when I've got him surrounded, well, or trapped, but sadly, it still wouldn't be enough. Yeah, Legolas <laughs> is fight value six, so he's going to win My captains are only three. Oh, bless him. <laughs> okay, to wound. That's a six and a four, so... What's your strength? Uh, four. Strength four, so are there any... Without shields in there? No, they no, all have shields. They all have shields, so you need fives. Um, so well, you can... I'll kill the captain. No, you, well, you attempt a wound. I thought he lost his might. Oh, no, sorry, no, it was him. I'm looking at the wrong one. Yeah. Sorry, yep. Captain is gone. That's my other non reinforceable okay. guy. That's gone. Legolas has done pretty good, to be fair. He's yeah. lost all his might, but that's done quite good. I'm, I'm going to point out here that a lot of people comment on previous battles of ours where. Uh, they're telling us we're not using enough heroic actions, mm. um, which, yes, I get, but tactically, especially for this, I want my might for situations like that. When you're yeah. so heavily outnumbered and you've got to be winning these uh, yeah. roll-to-win duels, then might is very important for that. And if I use it on heroic actions, then... Yeah, it's one of those, like, you kind of... You need the... You need to win. Yeah. You, you can't afford to lose. Obviously, when creatures like the cave troll come into it, things may change, but... yeah. yeah. So at least that's the, the way I, we, we've always Yeah, been. I'm weighing up my options, and at the moment, winning these dual rolls is more important, and I'm using my mic for that. So yes. Just to explain the tactics there. Okay, okay. on to um, turn four. So, priority. Oh, and Wait, the cave troll. The cave troll has he, arrived. But I'm guessing he will appear on my yes. turn. Yes, so, so we go priority first. Oh. But it is me. Okay. In the famous words of Boromir, they have a cave troll. Okay. Oh, no, we can't fit through the jaw. <laughs> um, so... I assume I can move people first, or does he just... Uh, uh, the rules state... Yeah, that's... that's they have a cave it. troll. Mm -hmm. During the evil player's fourth move phase, the cave troll may enter the board from the doorway and may charge the turn it arrives. Okay. During the turn it enters the board, the cave troll may move through friendly goblin models. Any goblin model moved through in this manner suffers a strength three hit, and any goblin model that the cave troll finishes its move on is automatically killed. Okay. So it says I may bring him onto the board. So I guess that technically means I don't have to do it this turn. Um, but I'm also assuming that means I can choose when. Is this not he automatically appears at that point? I guess not, no, yeah. Okay. It's just during your move phase. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick fast forward while I just move some of the goblins and then we'll get on to the troll. Okay, so troll is now in the building. Oh wait, this guy was out of the way. So he can appear just through there. So that guy, first guy, suffers a strength three hit because it's gonna happen. Hey! <laughs> Not that it matters for you. It's no, just, that's reinforcements for next turn. I, I do still have to bring in my reinforcements this turn. 
but let's get the troll out of the way first. So that's not this turn. Um, and then the troll's base is going to come up on Boromir, so he doesn't actually kill anyone else. And the last two reinforcements are coming in as well. Um, so then these two, as we said, I'll go one from the well and one from the door. Um, so they can both move. They can charge, can't they? Yes. Yes, they can charge. Okay, so I'm actually just... <laughs> you know what? What the hell? Taking on Sam and Mary, and then this guy's just gonna slowly move, make his way around. Okay, I believe that's me done. Okay, so are all my heroes here engaged? Yes, they are. So Boromir... Boromir's on the troll, Gimli's on, I think, two spears it was. Aragorn's on three spears, which is one with two enforced. Gandalf's one-on-one -on -one with the guy from last turn. Legolas is surrounded again. Then okay. I have one free sword. And hopefully you can see it from that camera. It's hard to judge, but I have got archers moving their way along the wall. So okay. I've slowly tried to get them into, yeah, just into range. Screw it. <laughs> oh! Come on, Frodo! This is such a stupid idea. <laughs> uh, when, when you could surround it with all four. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Maybe not. I'll well, uh, no shooting? No, there's not going to be any. I move forward with everyone again, because I'm just trying to get him in position at this okay. point. Okay, straight into combat then. Okay, so... Okay, <laughs> let's start with the Gandalf one-on-one, because that's probably the most boring. I got one, that's going to be you either way. Hey. Using the Firestorm Games dice. Hey! Uh, so Gandalf to wound. That's a two. Nope, so he's back. Okay, Aragorn versus three, all of which are spears. Come on, Strider! Uh, so that's three for me. That's a six. six. Ooh. What have you got left with him? Still all I haven't used anything, yeah. Um, You're not surrounded. I'm not surrounded. I am defense five. Against strength three. I will use a point of mind to plus his free one. Okay. It's all about survivability. Increase your survivability. Okay, to wound. That's, that's one six. That's one dead. You can only really kill the one anyway. Yeah, so. true. That's another reinforcement for next turn, though. <clears throat> Gimli. That's a yeah, six. That's you. It's a wound. It's a four. Uh, he's got a shield, so he's defense five. Strength four, defense five. So it will be fives, unless you want to use a point of might to get him off the board. Um, no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and now we have a cave troll. Oh, sir. A six. <sighs> and what's even better is the cave troll has burly, which means he basically gets the two-handed weapon, so the minus one, plus one, but because he's burly, he doesn't get the minus one. So basically, I get plus one on my rolls to kill. And he's strength six. What's your defense? Um, six. So I, I just need fours. It's one wound. Uh, oh, wait, no, I get plus one, so does that three turn into a four? Ah. So two. Two, two wounds. potential wounds. Oh, he has no fate, does he? Nope. This Boromir is not the captain of the White Tower. Nope, he has zero fate. That's not good. Okay. Not good and then at all. Let's finish it off with some hobbits. My fight value is only two, so I'm assuming <coughs> you're still higher. Yes, somehow. Okay, you you just. They all have one first. attack, right? They Should all I have see one what attack. I got, I got two. a two. Be a two. This is Frodo. <laughs> just because, why not? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Come on, Frodo. Frodo actually has Sting. I right? have shielded. Frodo has Sting. <laughs> yep, so you get plus one. Plus one to wound, or it makes his strength four, I believe. Oh, they, that was it, plus one to his strength. Yeah. Okay, so everyone has one attack, so again, I'll just use Frodo as this one because he's, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, that'll be dead. Yeah? That's, yeah. Even with the shield? Yeah, he's only defense five. The strength two. <laughs> oh, that's not a Frodo one, is it? No. Okay, no, you do need sixes then. Yeah. Um, I was thinking I was just a Frodo roll for a second. I mean, yeah, Sam has might, but. You, he is surrounded, so you get double. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, he's yeah dead. There's <laughs> Just one out of eight, though. Oop. Sorry, camera. Okay. So that is the... No, Legolas. We haven't done him yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't want to forget that one. That's a six. Oh, I want to forget that one. <laughs> uh, That's a six. Uh, okay. Um, oh, yeah, just... The, so, any? Just, they're all the same. They've all got shields. So. Some are spears, though, so it's depending uh, on if you... Ah, screw it. I know some people say that we should, like, say who we're trying to kill first and stuff, but... This is a speedier way of playing. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's a rule that we've always preferred to do. Yeah. Um, I know some people hate the house rules, but 
We, it's our house. Yeah, it's our, <laughs> our, our ball, we're taking it home. Um, yeah, so some of these walls are going to stick, some of them we have changed, so yeah. Yep. Okay, okay. So, turn five. Turn five, we are pretty much halfway there. And I haven't lost anyone yet. Six. Oh, I, I can still win. No. <laughs> okay. So let's bring in my reinforcements first. So I get two from the doorway and one from the well. Any more can come through the door. And one can come through the door. Yes, I forgot about the door. Okay, so. Okay, that's my movement done. So I put my guy from the well on Pippin, the other guys are making their way down. Legolas is surrounded again. Then a one on ones with Gandalf, Aragorn, and Gimli, and then the troll on Boromir. So you have got a couple of hobbits you can move, if you wish. Have you moved your archers this turn? I have moved. Okay, so this one, this one, and this one have moved half. Those two and that one have moved full. So I have three potential shots at a plus one, which would be a six to hit. Um, but, oh, and the other guy, I think I moved him full as well. So basically, the three at the front could shoot, but would hit on sixes. Okay. The others have all moved full. Frodo's going to just go there anyway. Um, Sam's just going to help Pip in. Oh. Can we fit in there? Yeah, yeah it's only it's that, but not really a step, yeah. to be honest. Um, so. Mary's not gonna do anything. No, he don't. Yeah. All my guys over here taken up. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, okay, so shooting wise, can I see Frodo? That I is the question. I don't think Be so. Because of the size of the tomb. The tomb is bigger than Frodo, so I don't. Uh, but I have height. I am higher. I'd say there's an in the way. Yeah, oh, definitely in the way. Yeah. <laughs> but. Um, it depends if those two can see any part of him. I'd say you can probably say his head, so I probably... His class can be sixes again. So yeah. basically I need sixes to hit, sixes to hit, and then probably sixes to kill. So, got two archers. No. Nope. Doesn't matter anyway. Okay. Um, on to battles then. Yep. So let's start Let's start with the hobbits on the goblin. Okay. You got the high five value. So Sam, yeah, they all get two. All, yeah. Fives. Fives with one. Well, they get one attack each. One attack each, yeah. Okay, you go. Goblin. Three. So that's and you. to wound, do they both have the same strength? Yes, they do. So you're going to need sixes, because you've got a shield. Yeah. Nope. Nope. He lives another day. Okay. Um, let's let's just do Legolas now. Okay. Very surrounded. <sighs> got any might left with No. You? No might. Ooh, okay. That's not good. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, five, six, seven. I need a six. Oh, I got one. Ah, oh, dang it. So, every single one of them has strength three. There's no captains left, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, He's only defense four. Wait, do I still have a captain somewhere? No, I killed them both. You did kill them both. Yes, okay. They all look the same. I keep getting fed. Uh, what's your defense? Four. Strength three defense, so I need fives. How many wounds? Two. How many fate? Three. Okay. Oh. So that's three straight away, and he's surrounded, so I get to do that again. Three, four, five. That's exactly enough to kill him without any fate. One down. You suck. Legolas is always the first. He was the first to die in the game last time. I know. In the first. Spoilers if Man, you haven't watched the video. He sucks. Um, he absolutely sucks. I mean, he did have the hardest time of all of that. Yes, but to be honest, with Legolas, if you can't shoot with him, he does suck. No. I will say it now. Well, well, we can't mention it at the end, but you probably could have done with putting him at an elevated height and just shot. Yeah, but I couldn't. Eh, no. But, yeah. <laughs> we messed up from the start, which meant I couldn't use Yeah, on one of your priorities, maybe. Anyway, okay, Gandalf one-on-one. -on -one. You got the high fight value, so you go first. <sighs> Do you want to? No. No. Okay, uh, Aragorn on spear. Six. Yep, you. One, two, six, and dead. Dead, that's fine by me. Uh, Gimli on sword. Go on, kill him. <laughs> kill him. Yep. Thank you very much. And then troll on Boromir. Six. Boromir's gonna die, isn't he? Yes, he is. Two sixes. Oh, Good. Wow. This game is over. <laughs> Boromir. This game is very over. Okay. Cool. I like it. On the turn six. Turn six. This could be a big priority. Yeah. Oh dear. Three. Whew. Okay. The dice are not my friends today. 
So I also get one guy from the well. I'm going to bring the other guy. I'm going to do the dog. Okay, so this guy is going to... Okay, my movement. <laughs> So Sam is going to have to help out Frodo here. Yeah. That oh, stops him being surrounded, so... Yeah. Turn around, buddy. Um, and that's it, right? I believe so, yeah. Is he attacking both of them? Yep, he okay. went into both. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with the Hobbits of Thine. So it's two on two. It's so frustrating that you keep winning priority, because <laughs> I keep planning on putting on the ring with Frodo, so you, it's much it, harder it, for you to attack it. him, but... I don't get to. Um, okay, where are we starting? Two hobbits. Two hobbits. So, Sam. Something's different with Sam, isn't it? It's just his. You got more white wolf eight. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so that makes a difference. Which one, Sam? Uh, yellow one. Yellow one, Sam. Okay, that's you. Oh, that's okay then. Two fours. No, that's no. not going to be enough. It is not. So just pushing them back. Okay, let's go for Sam. No, sorry, Mary on uh, the other goblin. Oh. I thought that was Sam for some reason. Ugh. No, that one was Sam, that's what Yeah, I know, I know, I know. That's because Mary and Sam's cloaks are the exact same colour, yeah. so I get them confused. Okay, Mary on one. Hey! Three. That's nothing. Okay, let's do Frodo. Yeah? Two on one. Okay. So what does he get? Just... Oh. He's got... He does have might, so I'm going to have to use it, really. Can't risk him dying. Okie doke. <laughs> no. One. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Gandalf. Okay. Gandalf one-on-one. -on -one. It's a six. Two. It's a six. That's dead. Okay, uh, Aragorn one-on-one. -on -one. Fives. Okay, okay. okay. let's Dead. Uh, not sure if I want that though. <laughs> okay, and now the troll and two goblins on Gimli. Uh, I, I've got a lower fight value, it doesn't make a difference. So troll, six. A six every turn with that damn troll. This is the first time I think I've had a troll roll well. Mm. Um, okay, so the troll gets his. So this plus one, so he gets a five and a six. So two wounds. So that's two wounds. Then the other, just to check the two goblins, so just strength three, would need sixes, so that's one. That's three wounds. <coughs> Gimli has two wounds to fate, so, so he, he needs, needs both. both. Uh, so he's a point of might. So he's no fate. Loses a wound as well. Yeah. One wound left. One wound. And one less might. Oh, wow. Well, at least I didn't lose any models this turn. Oh, wait. Was Boromir last turn or this Yeah, it was last turn. Okay. Legolas and Boromir, I think, were last turn. Uh, okay. That's the end of turn. Turn seven. Turn seven. See, it's going bad, but I do need to kill more. Yeah. If you can just survive, then it makes it so hard. Okay, priority. Yep. Oh Six. God. Ah. Oh. I think priority is gonna win me this scenario. Yeah, I can't. I can't defend Frodo with the ring, so no. not a lot I can do really. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, I'm pretty confident that this will be the last turn. Yes, and we'll just say then. Another person just turned up at our door mid-move, so if something looked like it jumped around, yeah. um, we had to cut again and come back, so I don't think we did anything wrong, we know we were mid-move. No. But... This game should have been taken about an hour, we've had three people walk in. Yeah, um, Yeah, I've got no one I can move, um, nope. Frodo is surrounded, yeah. the hobbits are outnumbered, this is more than likely going to be the last turn, and there's not a lot I've been able to do because I haven't had a single priority. No, it's, it's obviously such an obvious thing, but not having yeah. priority is just... Deadly. <laughs> yeah, big time. Okay, so let's let's, let's, get just, into let's it. just do Frodo because it could be the end of the game right That's there. That's true. Okay, well I got three, but you got a higher fight value. Got a five. Oh. Oh no, you are surrounded. I get plus one to my fight value. My fight value is three. So is mine. Okay, so to do the correct way, one. Hang on. Oh. I'll just use a point of mind. You're gonna use point of mind. Okay. Yeah. So that's the second time you said to do that, isn't it? Yeah. So none left. So Frodo survives. survives at least. So. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go next to him then, and we'll start with Mary on three as well. Okay, Goodbye, Mary. so Mary is surrounded. So that's three fives. He is dead. Yeah, no fate or nothing. Goodbye, Mary. Uh, I mean, one fate, two wounds, wasn't it? Or yeah. one wound or one uh, 
Yeah, one wound, one face. So he's okay. very dead. That's fine. Um, okay, let's go up to Sam on three. <laughs> let's go up to Sam on three, just in case you couldn't hear. Um, so that's two spears and a sword. Oh, six, come on. But this one is not surrounded. I will use point of might. Oh, uh, okay. He's going to use point of might. Wait. Does that win it for me? You got a high fight value, yeah? Yeah, What's your what, fight value? three. Yeah, I'm two. You're not surrounded, so I don't get the plus one. Oh, okay. It's just, it's a sword with two spears backing him up, so. Yeah, I haven't used any of Sam's might, so I may as well just to get it in. Oh, and oh, he gets a kill. he takes out the, the sword. The guy in front. Okay. Um, then we have Pip on one. It's a two. Hey, it's a one. go on, Pip in. Hey! hey! He threw a stone so hard in that goblin's face. Couldn't really miss it him. It exploded. There. Okay, um, oh yeah, Frodo yeah. is done, so let's just back him up a bit. Um, so Gandalf on one. Oh, that was a five, come on. Hey. Ah. Come on, old Greybeard. Hey! hey. Okay. Give me some clearing a path for my heroes for the next turn, at least. <laughs> Aragorn. Yeah. Yep. Yep, ooh, just. Gimli may go this turn, though. Okay, so, yeah, I, I do have two. There's just an annoying stone placement that means <laughs> Base contact is a Again, big... Again, serious? I'm loving this. Okay, come on, trolley boy. That's a, a five and a six. I, I just realised... Hmm? We've taken wounds off Gimli Larson. He's defence eight. Okay. <laughs> On strength six, so that's five? Uh, five? Yeah. So I've been getting... Well, that's plus one, so that's two more wounds at least anyway. Okay. Um... Well, that's him dead then. Yeah. Okay, we may have messed that up last turn. I think I was getting at least fives last turn. Yeah. It's just, yeah, because the troll has strength six plus one because of his two-handed special with Burley. Yeah. It, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. we're on to turn eight. And you have... You need to kill one person this one turn. One person in the next, well, three turns by the end of turn Yeah, ten. it doesn't... It and run. your hobbits are a bit... Even if yeah. it's not Frodo, I'm not sure you're doing this. Yeah, I very, very, very much need priority. Let's go. That's a four. Just get a five and be annoying. Oh! <laughs> it's fine. Right. It's fine. Okay. Not okay. worried. Oh. Aragorn is going to go over here. Okay. Gandalf is going to use Sorcerer's Blast on the troll. Okay. How does that... Because the whole thing with knocking him back, yes? Yeah. But then there's the whole thing... If you knock back into someone's strength six, yeah. it just so... stops. But he is strength six. Does that mean he doesn't... Get knocked back, or so strength six or higher. And he is strength so six. Immediately stop and be knocked prone. Okay, so he won't. So... However, hmm? the strength six model will not be knocked prone. Oh wait, how? Ah. Oh, that comes into contact someone... with a piece of terrain or a yeah. model that's strength. Oh, okay. That's only if someone gets knocked into him. Yeah. If the target comes into contact with another model that is strength five or less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's only if it comes into contact with someone. Okay. Okay, so sorcerer's blast on the troll. <clears throat> He's going to use his free one. He's already used one, right? I haven't yeah. taken it off. Um, he'll use his free one and two others. Taking okay. it down to three. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, the troll can die at this point. He has done his duty. <laughs> yeah, successful. Okay. Is it successful twice? So I get two attacks? Or was it just, I, I think it just, just means cast. it is successful. It's just, it's just successful. cast. Okay, and he moves five inches backwards. So basically, he's thrown back to the, the gate. He's knocked prone. <clears throat> he is knocked prone, but he... I can't lie him down on it. Okay, so Troll is prone. And then he suffers, what was it, a strength five? Yes. Strength five hit, so there's fives. <laughs> nope. Okay. Okay, and Gandalf can still move. Yep. So Gandalf's going to turn around and attack this goblin here. Okay. Now, do I want Frodo to put the ring on? <laughs> Let me see what, what else I've got here. You've got some outnumbered hobbits. That's yes. what you've got. Well... Pitbin's going to attack this one, and Sam's going to attack this one. That one or those two, just so I know? Those two. Okay. So no one should be able to get to Frodo. Nope. At least. Mm, okay. Not me. To be honest, I'm not that bothered about Frodo now, because I just need to kill. Yeah, I It know. doesn't matter if Frodo survives, but I, and I kill the five, does it? No, it's five okay. or, or Frodo. So basically this guy can come around here and join in with, with Pip. Um, so I've made many, many mistakes in this at this point, but I just don't know how I can keep the hobbits alive, really. Boromir is down, so Merry and Pippin can't even use his might. Oh, there's a lot of things gone wrong here. 
Okay, and then I have got my reinforcements as well. The spear guy can appear from the well and just jump down here. And then I got two up here, which will just come there and there to come down the steps. And then the other guy can appear in the doorway, but there's a big troll in the way, so he can't even get past. Um, okay, yeah. Okay, let's so, uh, start with Gandalf, shall so we? So two on Gandalf. Both shields. No. Um, so Aragorn next. Yeah. On two as well. It's a five. Yeah. Didn't mean to use that yellow one. That's uh, a five. One so dead. one dead. <laughs> Sam. Sam's on three. It's a six. Um, what's Sam's fight value? Three. Three. So I get the plus one because he's trapped. So I can potentially get a draw. Nope. Then my. Oh, go on, Sam. Come on. It's a six! Oh, uh, oh, I'll take okay. out. Um, oh. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, and now Pippin on five. I very much need a six. It all comes down to this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. One! Classic. He got a one! Classic. I think that spells the Classic end. Classic toque. Imagine okay. you rolled all the ones then. Oh. Okay, so I get ten attacks. With all those wounds, I have to take off him. Uh, yeah, that's a few. Okay. So. Yeah, that's game over. I've killed five? Yep. Is it. I've got to kill more than five or five or more? Just Good player play. wins if. Blah, 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 blah. Evil player wins if five or more curve models are slain, or if Frodo is slain, you automatically win. Whoosh! Whoosh! To be honest, I'm not sure what it was. I, I think the initial mess up with how I moved and then you did your deployment was, uh, yeah, not, it yeah. wasn't a good start. That spelled pain yeah. for me from the very beginning. And in all honesty, I think the size of our board made a massive difference. Yeah. Um, like, it was easier to get trapped. Yeah. We should have had a lot more space. Yeah. Um, obviously, we made it so not as many reinforcements could come in and stuff, but there wasn't really an opportunity to bring more in, even if I could have. Yeah. Um, okay, maybe they would have appeared here and there on trapdoors instead, which could have changed things completely. But uh, it's, it's hard to judge. We we changed it for how we had the board. Um, yeah. I do think that favoured the bad guys. Yeah, it favoured the it outnumbering. Did. It did. Um, again, yes. there's always different tactics I could have done. I could have used more heroic actions, same as yeah. always. But again, the objective for me was just to survive. So mm. using my might to win dual rolls seemed yeah. like it was the better option there. Yeah, and um, if. It, Two or three turns in, it looked it was going the right way for you. But when I then got those four or five turns in a row of priority, there's nothing you can do at that point. No. You don't have one of the heroes who can change priority, so you're kind of just stuck. Yeah, like, I didn't even get the option. It didn't matter in the end because he actually survived, but I didn't even get the option to put on the one ring yeah. to hide Frodo. Um, Frodo actually did okay. Uh, Aragorn... Aragorn did well. I mean, he, he, he didn't did take enough. any damage. He yeah. took some people out, but he couldn't... He was kind of, again, because of priority, he was stuck down here holding the mm. line when every time he killed anyone, they would pop back here and start attacking the hobbits who were very vulnerable. Yeah. And there's and not a lot I can do about that. Yeah. Like, it was one of those games where I just rolled so well you couldn't do anything. Yeah, you the rolled sixes with the troll every time. Yeah, the fact that I was getting sixes with the trolls every time, it took you to get priority and then use magic to get rid of him. But at that point, it was too late. Yeah. So it didn't actually matter what had happened to him. Yeah. Um, yeah. If, think, any, uh, if anything, I feel like the troll... For our snow, probably should have come in maybe turn six or seven. Yeah. Like he should have been a last hurrah moment. Yeah. Not turn four was quite early in terms of, the size of the what board. happened, and it, yeah, <laughs> and it did sway everything very quickly. Yeah, the difference was because because of the way the deployment happened at the start, I was stuck in a line here, mm. and then it meant anyone that came in through the door could automatically get in battle yeah. that turn. Whereas if the board was the two foot that it should be, that and wouldn't have happened. Two foot wide as well. Yeah. So he could have moved. You could have moved out the way out the side. Mm -hmm shot back, uh, stood back and shot with Lagolas. You could have done a few things differently. However, having said that, something I think I would have done if I was you, is I would have, you've got the artist in a line, but as you're an evil player, you could have shot into combat, which was doubly beneficial. You could have either taken mine out yeah. or taken yours out and put them but, back at the back yeah, of the board. Yeah, that would have been okay, except it, only when I didn't have priority. Because if I shot into that and then I killed mine, it just leaves you free for when you can move. True. Whereas true. if I know you can't move afterwards, then yes, maybe it was. But that was kind of a case of if you managed to wipe out my guys, then I just had a row of archers just to lay some fire down when you couldn't reach me within one turn. Mm. But again, I did. It did show that I also had eight unused goblins as well. Yeah. <laughs>
Um, all in all, I did feel from the start that it was a losing battle for the Fellowship. Yes. There was a moment where I thought I might just make mm. it to turn ten here, but yeah, like if you could have, if you could have had priority, you could have stood in the doorway and Sorcerer's Blast a few times. Yeah. To wipe out a couple of rows, um, to the point that you were killing them faster than I could bring them back. Yeah. Um, then it could have worked, but looking back, I probably should have kept Gandalf with the Hobbit um, to do some defending. Yeah, but... they, they needed a bodyguard. Maybe, maybe yeah. an hour going over me should have stayed back. Yeah, but again, points. that was my plan, was to put Boromir back and to protect the hobbits. Mm. But again, because we messed up the deployment at the start, he was yeah. engaged in combat and you had priority every turn. So from that initial um, mistake with the deployment at the yeah. turn when it kind of led the way to defeat him. Yeah. <laughs> but never mind, it's always fun. It's still fun, even when we make mistakes like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let us know, as always, what battles, what scenarios, what matchups you want to see next. Yep. There was a lot of comments that seemed to really enjoy our Orcs versus Urukai video. Yes. So, what do you guys feel about maybe Gondor versus Rohan? Do like yes. a little. We we haven't used any Gondor armies yet. No. Which ironically is my favorite. Too. Yeah, which is shocking. I mean, uh, no, the rain. No, we used them as Dunedais. They weren't. Yeah. They weren't even them then. So yeah. We could have a West Civil War. Let us yeah. know in the comments down below if you prefer to see that or another scenario uh, narrative-based yes. game. Yeah. Um, and again, just at the end now, massive shout out to Firestorm Games who supplied us with this lovely board. It is it is a very, very good board. It, oh, it's awesome. It's perfect. We just had too many models within it, I think. Yeah. Um, and check out in the description below our affiliate code if you'd like to get anything from them. Their prices are very competitive. Yes. And they do ship worldwide, so they are worth checking out if you're into any kind of toys, gaming, uh, nerd stuff. Nerd stuff, yeah, nerd stuff, basically. Yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, thank you so much as always for watching, guys, and we will see you next time on the Tabletop Alliance. Bye, guys.